If you're a coach, what are you telling your team before the big game? I would tell my team, if you lose, I, won't, I don't want to see your face again, ever again. That's pretty harsh. Premier League match week 33 is here. Can you believe it? The season is almost over. Seven to eight games, and then we're going to say goodbye to the season 2023-2024. Let me remind you the table so far. Arsenal, top of the table, 71 point. Liverpool are second, 71 point. The same amount of points, but the goal difference is, dif is different. Arsenal got plus 51. Liverpool got plus 42. Manchester City are third, 70 point. Tottenham Hotspurs are fourth, 60 point. Villa are fifth, 60 point, but also the point difference uh, or goal difference here. You can see Tottenham plus 20. Aston Villa plus 17. So this uh, uh, this uh, season it's going to be played in just a small margin. That's why every team want to score as many goals as possible. You scroll down, Chelsea Football Club as ninth. Yeah, now they are doing better for a couple of weeks now in the ninth position because they were 11th or 12th, now they are 9th, and they drop point against Sheffield United and also Burnley. Otherwise, they were going to be in 7th position just behind Manchester United. Down there, you can tell Luton Town are 18th, Burnley 19th, and Sheffield United 20th. Everton got another sanction. They Got two more points deducted. <laughs> That's too much for them. Nottingham Forest are not away, are not far from the relegation zone. So they have to be very, very careful. Fight and win! Let now go to, let down. Let now go to some details. Starting by Saturday, April the 13th, 2024, early in the morning, 7.30 Eastern Time. It's going to be Newcastle against Tottenham Hotspurs. Spurs won the last game in the Premier League 3-1 against Nottingham Forest. Fulham against Newcastle. Newcastle won that game away. So both teams got some kind of momentum. Newcastle playing home. Tottenham Hotspurs don't know how to defend. This game is going to be a draw 2-2. Two -two. Let's go. Brentford against Sheffield United. Brentford are not doing that good at the moment. The last game, you know, they got 3-3 uh, three -three against Aston Villa away. And Sheffield United got 2-2 two -two against Chelsea Football Club. So, both of them got some kind of momentum. But I think Brentford playing home, they are going to beat Sheffield United 3-1. Moving on. Next up, we have Burnley against Brighton. This could be the last chance for Burnley to try and fight to stay in the Premier League. The last game they lost away against Everton. Sean Dyche got the revenge on his former club. 1-0 loss. And Brighton lost against Arsenal 3-0. Both teams need to win. Burnley are not that good. Brighton are like 50-50 this season. I see this game a 2-2 draw. Next up, Manchester City against Luton Town. City have to win. They know they have to win. <laughs> so this is very dangerous for Luton Town. Let's not waste our time, right? Luton Town 
got some momentum because they they won the last game against uh, Bournemouth 2-1. City beat Crystal Palace away for 2. But I think this game is going to be City 3, Luton Town 2. For some reason, City can't keep the clean sheet anymore. Anybody can score against them. 3-2 to City. If you look good, you feel good, you win the game. Next up, Nottingham Forest against Wolves. Forest need to win, man. I feel for my boy, Kalim Hasanadoi. The last game in the Premier League, they lost against Tottenham Hotspurs. Away, 3-1. And Wolves actually lost at home against West Ham United. So, very, very tough game here. But I think... Nottingham Forest 2, Wolves 1. Kalim Hassan Adoy to score both goals for Nottingham Forest. You heard here first. Next up, we have Bournemouth against Manchester United. Well, well, well. United drew the last game against Manchester United in the Premier League 2-2. Oh, wow. Playing away against Bournemouth, who are, you know, 50-50, really. They've been, oh, for the last three games, they won two. They lost one. All right, this game is going to be a draw. It's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw. And then Sunday, April the 14th, 2024. Liverpool against Crystal Palace. Liverpool have to win. There's no way around it. They are playing home at Anfield Stadium. They know that if they don't win, Arsenal are going to create some, you know, gap. So it's going to be a disaster for Crystal Palace. I see this game for... One to Liverpool. <laughs> you are so funny. Moving on. The same Sunday, West Ham against Fulham. Big London derby. Hmm. Interesting game. West Ham need to win. Fulham need to win. Fulham lost at home the last game against Newcastle United. West Ham went away to Wolves to uh, and they got a result to one win. I still think that West Ham got an edge on this one and it's gonna be one nil to West Ham. Kudos to score if he's gonna be fit. And the last game on Sunday is gonna be a big big one. Arsenal against Aston Villa. Arteta against uh, Mr. Good Evening. They know they have to win. There is no choice. Uh, you have to win your games if you want to win this league. Aston Villa, Una Emery always try to to get his revenge on Arsenal. Ha ha ha! Arsenal just dropped. Uh, oh, they drew at home against Bayern Munich the other day, two two, and this game. I am also afraid Arsenal 2, Aston Villa 2. It doesn't mean that that is the end for them, though, because still some games that are very complicated. Arsenal still need to play against Chelsea. That is a London derby. No matter how bad Chelsea are, that is a London derby. And they have to play Tottenham Hotspurs. So Arsenal need to be very careful. It's going to be a 2-2 two -two draw. It's not cool to not know what you're talking about. <laughs> and then the last game for match week 33 is going to be on Monday, uh, April the 15th. Chelsea against Everton at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea dropped 
point against Sheffield United, the last game in the Premier League, 2-2, and Everton won their game at home against Burnley. Very tough game. I already made a video, an entire video about this game, so I'm not going to take your time here. Go check on the link in the description down below and watch that video. Chelsea 3, Everton 1.